in this video we will learn about from route attribute in asp.net core web application from route attribute is used to bind the data that is available in the route the difference between from query and from route attribute is a from query attribute will work one with query string data from route attribute will work with route data in our previous video we have discussed how to use from query attribute in asp.net core application you can watch that video before watching this video now go to visual studio here we are using the same application that we have created in this asp.net core video series in this application we have countries controller inside this controller we have simple action method let's update this action method instead of this from query now we will use from route attribute now remove this complex data and primitive types from here let's use simple data string name let's update the code from here add the name in the url also see the base route here uh, in the url first we have to append api and then controller name uh, save and run this application copy the url from here open the postman here change the method to post and paste the url append with api and then countries then pass the name value in the url let's say india then click the send button here see here we got the value now update the url by using query string name equal let's say china and in the body also pass the name value choose raw and then type json so enter the name value here let's say dubai now send the request still we got the value from the route using this from route attribute we can force the application to bind the data only from the route now go to visual studio stop the execution let's use complex data here to instead of this simple data now we will use country model that we have created in our previous video in the url we have to add the remaining property also so capital update the code here capital equal then third property population sorry country dot population that's it now save and run this application again in the postman we have to pass name capital and uh, population so remove this query string and capital let's say delhi and then population let's say 47470000 like this now click the send button here see here we got all the data that is coming from route if you try to pass similar or different data from both a query string and the body simply will get ignored along with this uh, from route attribute we can use other attribute also like a from query attribute let's say um, i want to get some data from a query string and some data from the route in this scenario i can use both of them now let's update this action method Here we will use from 
from query attribute and let's use second parameter integer id so here update the code id equal parameter id see here i want to get id from query string and other data from this router save and run this application again so in this url uh, we need to pass id by using query string let's say id equal 65 then click the send button here see you we got uh, id along with this data so in asp.net code we can use multiple attributes in one single method so this is how we can use uh, from route attribute in asp.net code web application thanks for watching this video